Today's financial advice is sponsored by Endeavor Private Wealth. Well, Chris McGee, managing partner at Endeavor Private Wealth, is joining us for our segment on investing. Chris, good morning. Good to have you back. Good morning. Glad to be here. So, there's always a lot of hype and excitement when the Powerball or Mega Millions lottery reaches, um, you know, some humongous amount. I'm always the billion person, <laughs> and who hasn't dreamed of what they would do with all that money if they beat the astronomical odds and won? Yeah, windfalls of that magnitude may be so much fun to think about but they very rarely uh, occur. In fact, according to the National Weather Service, a person has a one in 15,300 chance of getting struck <laughs> by lightning, and compare wow. that to the one in 292 million odds of winning the Powerball jackpot. So it almost seemed that getting struck by lightning is not that far-fetched. <laughs> I mean, well, nothing, neither of those happen to me. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully the lightning won't either anytime. So, however, um, much more is common with windfalls associated with large amounts mm -hmm. of money that a person may receive in the way of an inheritance. Mm. While certainly not a joyful occasion like winning the lottery, it could be life-changing both positive or negative. And so there is a lot of anecdotal information about how you know people who come into a large amount of sudden money often go through it pretty fast. What can cause that to happen? Sometimes people's emotions get the better of them. Mm -hmm. They think they're rich. Um, say they receive a million dollars, and that's a lot of money, mm -hmm. but it may only generate a fraction of the amount in terms of annual income. Yeah. And if they go on a major spending spree and spend down the principal carelessly, the income they could derive will be even less. And that's why it's a good idea to just slow down and to think about what you should do rather than making impulsive decisions like quitting a job or making a major purchase. And Chris, is there a difference between the way people may treat an earned windfall, you know, say from an employment bonus or the sale of an asset, or an unearned windfall from inheritance or a game of chance? There can be. Unearned windfalls are often received and perceived as house money. Mm -hmm. People may feel that the money really isn't theirs and that it's somehow different or separate from the money that they've earned. So they think that it's okay to invest it in higher risk ventures out of their norms or spend it more freely and more extravagantly. Immediate gratification can easily get the better of them, paving a way to buyer's remorse and regret down the line. Mm -hmm. So I understand that people who experience you know, windfalls often find themselves dealing with family members or friends who may seem to come out of the woodwork <laughs> um, seeking financial assistance. Uh, yes, that can happen. And it feels good to help people out. However, sometimes it may be trying to take advantage mm -hmm. of you. So it's important to be careful about such requests and determine if you really can afford it and if it's in everyone's best interest. People who receive windfalls may also become targets for scammers, often investment opportunities mm -hmm. that promise quick profits or guaranteed returns. And that's why it's critical to keep up your guard. Again, take your time and to think through the merits of any significant transaction. Does a person's age affect how they may respond to receiving a financial windfall? <laughs> it certainly could. Uh, particularly for younger individuals who may not have had a lot of experience managing money. One day they're just normal folks going to school or in early stages of their career and the next day they have all this money <laughs> and they're not sure what to do with it. It might provide the means to pursue their dreams or it could demotivate them and throw them off track. Mm. On the giving side of the equation Older individuals who plan to leave money to younger family members in an inheritance should consider the person's ability to prudently manage a large sum of money outright. And if they have concerns, they should think about it and establish a trust to manage the assets and distribute it accordingly to kind of a principal and interest formula 
for the beneficiary's behalf in a prescribed manner. Mm -hmm. and Chris, you know, we're running a little short on time. Any final thoughts you'd like to share with our viewers on this subject? Everyone's situation is unique. Mm -hmm. However, first things first, take a deep breath. And before you do anything, you should assess your current situation, your income, your assets, liabilities, and objectives. Consider using the windfall to pay off or down high interest debts, fund a child's education, or invest the money for long-term retirement goals. It may also make sense to consult with a trusted professional advisor, such as an accountant, attorney, insurance specialist, and wealth advisor to help you manage your windfall and develop strategies to help you achieve your goals. Wonderful. Thank you, Chris. We always appreciate your time. And of course, to learn more about Endeavor Private Wealth, visit EndeavorPW.com.